Hey, an important deadline for CMS parents to so listen up. It's your last day, last chance to weigh in on remote learning plans for next school year. Wake up Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw joins us now live at CMS headquarters. And Billie Jean, the district at this point trying to decide if they will offer at all a, a full at home option for students this fall. And it's difficult because who knows where we're going to be come September uh, of this year. Good morning, Ben. That's right. So I reached out to the district yesterday and a spokesperson told me that due to state law, they cannot offer a virtual learning academy for each school. So they're trying to come up with a district plan uh, for families that find that their children work better with virtual learning. Uh, but what they're doing right now is gathering responses from parents across the district to see if they even want that option. From there, they're going to take those responses to the board who will make the final decision. When it comes to virtual school for the Sanchez family, it's a house divided. I have two boys. One is ninth grade, one is 11th grade. Um, one has really excelled uh, straight A's, done wonderful in the remote learning academy. And the other one has definitely struggled. Michelle Sanchez says she would love to see CMS offer an option for remote learning for students who need it next school year. It's, it's been more challenging. So not having um, that interaction of his friends and whether that's even in the hallway between classes or, um, or sports um, has been very challenging. CMS sent this survey to parents to have them to weigh in on whether or not they will like the option of a virtual academy next year. However, the district did not specify if certain teachers will be designated to teach online only. I only have this one experience to go by, which is the teacher that's literally doing both. Um, I don't know. I think that's probably really hard on the teacher to try and engage the students that are there and engage the students online. And so I appreciate that. So again, Michelle Sanchez, one of the uh, many parents here in the CMS school district who want that option. But as you heard her say, she has another son who uh, she discovers in-person learning works better for him. But I thought it was very interesting how she talked about virtual learning working uh, well for one of her children. We're actually going to hear more from her about that coming up at 6 a.m. We've heard a lot of stories about the struggles of virtual learning, but not really the success stories. So we'll have more on that. Ben, back to you. Which is an important distinction because some people are, are doing well with it. All right, Billie Jean, thank you.